when we moved here, because we've got a charter boat, we um, wondered what we could do because we didn't want to have a whole heap of animals that we had to be looking after all the time. So we went to the field days and bought a pigeon pair of um, avocado, macadamia, olives, all sorts of trees, brought them home, put them in the ground and thought we'll see what does well this year. That year we had a minus six frost and yeah, the dam froze out this far, out in the dam. And um, a minus six frost and everything died except the olives. So we said, well, that's, it, that's olives. We're doing olives. And then it wasn't until later, my dad actually um, fought on, in the Battle of Crete. And it wasn't until after we'd bought our olives that we found out that the olive koroniki that we'd bought come from a cutting that was given to the Bongarei RSA by the people of Crete. And it came from a cutting from that. And that was a thank you for the men who, and women who, you know, fought over there. Yeah, so it, we've got about a thousand trees. Um, these ones here are Escalano that we're in. We've got Koroniki further over, about um, 300 of those. We've got Manzanillo in the grove behind over here. And they're good for um, pickling. Um, we've also got J5, which are a similar tree to this one, and have a beautiful olive. Um, we've won gold medal with our J5. Um, a couple of gold medals, actually. Um, and the Barnea, which are over there, which are a headache and do nothing. So we're hoping to graft onto those um, or give the wood away for wood turners. It's beautiful wood turning wood. So, yeah. Wayne and I do most of the picking ourselves. Um, family come and help now and again. Um, we've had and the odd person come and give us a hand um, with the picking. But mainly we do it ourselves. And so every day that we pick, we probably pick about 200 kg of olives. And at the moment we can get, um, we're getting about two bins off every tree. But we have had the Koroniki where we got 90 kg off one tree. So um, it varies quite a lot. Um, where if we get 90 kg off one tree, then we really only have to pick a couple of trees and we've got enough for, to do a pressing for the day. Wayne can do up to 300 kg in a day on our press. Mm. So we do the pressing, we um, decant the oil off, we store it in, in glass bottles in a cupboard we've got in the house that uh, for some reason it stays at between 12 and 14 degrees all year. It's just a, an old house and this cupboard has all the ventilation built in around it, so it's really good. And we store it there for about a month, month and a half and let it settle. We don't filter our oil and then we, um, we bottle it and to sell it. And I sell it mainly at the Mangawai market, but we have customers uh, regular customers that uh, once they've tried our oil they seem to um, want to come back for more so um, yeah we're quite pleased. <laughs> we entered it in the Olivetti inaugural one and we took away um, two golds, two silvers and a bronze and best of show so we did very well um, with those and I think it we, our oil won the awards because we're a small grove. We do the picking and that night we, we deleaf and sort. So we sort the olives and there's no rubbish in there. So as you can see on the trees here, there's um, quite a few cicada shells and things. And there's all sorts of things that can go into your olives. And we pick all those out. We pick any damaged olives out, um, leaves, sticks, so all that goes through is the olive, and they're all good olives that go through. Um, and because we do it so soon after the picking, um, I think that helps. Um, and using because we use a press to do our olive oil, a press, I believe, is um, does a better job than a centrifuge. And I might upset some people saying that, but um, the centrifuge spits it out and is more violent on the pomace, on the olive mash, and also you need to filter it afterwards, whereas doing it on the press it's more gentle, the olive oil runs out and we let it settle for a month and a half and the fines drop out of it, 
but you've still got all the goodness and everything in there. So I just think it produces a better olive oil in the end. After our oil is, has been um, bottled, we I sell it at the market at Mangawai. Every Saturday I'm there at the market and um, it's available there. But um, people can ring us as well. And if you'd like to give us a ring on 09 423 7642, <laughs> um, you, could, you can order it. Um, We've also got a web, well I haven't got a website yet for the olive oil but we do have a website for our charter boat and there's a link there that you can contact us on and that's our um, R&R &R charters so people can contact us there. But it's available for anybody to buy and um, I challenge other olive groves to produce a, a, a nice as olive as we do, olive oil as we do. <laughs> that's a challenge. <laughs>